Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 20 of the Bournemouth Career Mode series. In today's episode, we'll be playing two Premier League games as well as a massive Champions League game against Sevilla. If you guys are excited for today's episode, go down there and drop a like on this video and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Also guys, in today's episode, there was going to be a press conference, but guys, I've decided to not do any more press conferences in this series and that's because I think the support's been dying for it, so I don't think it makes sense doing any more press conferences. There aren't really two many questions for me to answer and if there are they're pretty much repetitive so I don't think there's need to do any more press conferences but guys the series will still stay interactive we can obviously still interact through the comment section and even through the YouTube polls that have released recently so if you click that eye on the top right of your screen you can go ahead and vote on today's poll so I'll be talking about that later but for now look at this guys this is how the league table looks we are in fourth position with 12 points after six games that isn't too bad our objective is to finish in the top four so it's pretty good also guys in the last episode so I asked you guys who is the player of the season so far and most of you guys voted for Ryan Gold. Now, I was kind of surprised at this because obviously Juan Iturbe and even Callum Wilson were really performing well but you guys seem to really enjoy Ryan Gold's performance. Obviously in the last episode he just gave an absolutely mesmerizing performance against both I think Chelsea and even I think Hull City. He scored two beauties against them. But guys, today's question is who should we make our first team captain? Steve Cook, Callum Wilson or Max Grittel, the three players who have been at this club from the start of this series. I haven't put Baruch in there because he really doesn't play too much. So let me know through the YouTube polls who should we make our captain. Obviously you can vote through that I button on the top right of your screen. But anyways guys, now let's get into our first game of this episode which is against Derby County. This is the team I'm going with, another strong team but I have rested quite a lot of plays so that I can get them fit for that Sevilla game. But in this game guys, Derby started out really well there, the first chance of this game, but Boruch was there to make the save. Whenever Boruch does play, he will be captain, that's for sure. Ryan Fraser here with the chance to test their goalkeeper, but his shot goes wide. He's been pretty good since coming back from loan from, I think it was Ipswich Town. But anyways, this game didn't produce too many chances, so I decided to bring Wilson in for Joshua King, because King really wasn't playing well in that striker position. Obviously, Afobe is injured, that's why he was playing in that position. We tried to get a goal in this game late on here, coming from Ryan Fraser as well Fraser takes the shot there but their keeper again makes the save that was quite possibly the most boring game of this series up till now there was literally nothing much happening in this game all the chances were like half chances and I was really disappointed at my team's performance there but Derby were really just parking the bus in that game they weren't really playing well but that's pretty much it for that game against Derby and we have dropped another two points so we're dropping a lot of points so far which isn't good at all as you can see now it's time for some training I have been training Ryan Fraser for quite a while now and he's pretty close to being a 74 rated player which is good to see but now let's focus our attentions on that champion League game against Sevilla. This is how our group looks right now. After one game, we have won that game obviously against Juventus. We beat them four goals to two. Can we produce another magical performance here away from home against Sevilla? It would be absolutely ridiculous. And as you can see, the difference in the team I'm playing, it's ridiculously good this team with Iturbe, Callum Wilson, Riddell, Will Hughes all coming in. I think we can really win this game here. But Sevilla do have the first chance of this game. Gamiero into Conor Plianca. The player with the best name in the game, he does score a really good goal that was in the third minute. So Sevilla already showing us how difficult Champions League football is. What a goal that was from Conor Plianka. But now we're trying to get back in this game. But we couldn't start the counter there. In Zonzi into Vitolo. Vitolo on to Banega. Banega into Gamiero. Gamiero takes the shot. But Dragoski there makes a very good save. Keeping the score only 1-0 to Sevilla. We need to score quickly if you have to get back in this game. Yes, Tyron Mings now plays the 1-2 with Will Hughes. Will Hughes plays him back really well. Mings with the shot. And the keeper makes the save. That was a really good attempt from Tyron Mings there. But now Sevilla have a chance. It's Krichoviak here. It's still Krichoviak into Zonzi with the shot. But Dragoski there makes the save and I think one of our players got a yellow card there but that really doesn't matter here's Itobe trying to get us back in this game it's still Manuel Itobe oh look at him go how good is he in this game oh that's a banger from Juan Manuel Itobe in this 62nd minute of this game bringing us back in this game what a strike that was from Manuel Itobe I mean the keeper had no chance there Juan Itobe brings us back in this game just look at that I mean Itobe just cuts inside takes on two defenders the defenders have no chance the keeper doesn't have any chance that is Juan Itobe for you and after that guys the keeper just gave the ball away to Callum Wilson who had probably the easiest goal of his career to score and really good finishes but I mean there wasn't any keeper so technically it was like a tap in or so but really
pretty good chance there for Wilson to score. He did score. But now he is Sevier trying to get back in this game. Cook with a great tackle there. But the ball still falls to Konoplyanka, whose shot goes way above the crossbar. He had already scored against us. So I kind of feared that he would score again. But he didn't. And the game ends two goals to one. I'm not sure if he entirely deserved the results. But we did beat Sevilla. We have two wins out of two in the Champions League, which is ridiculous. But after that game, guys, some really bad news. Gretel suffers a training injury and he's going to be out for four months. That is ridiculous. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, we're going through such a good moment right now in this series and we have to suffer this injury. I mean, Gretel, that's really bad. I mean, he's been one of our best players in this series with all his assists, his pace and all that has come in real handy and now losing him out for like four months. It's just ridiculous. But we're going to sign up this guy from my youth academy, James Hoskins. He's 64 rated now, but his potential is between 84 to 90. He plays on the left-hand side, the same position as Gretel, so he could maybe come in handy. But obviously, Ryan Fraser will be our first choice left midfield or left winger for you know the coming game so he's playing this game again against Stoke City we again playing away from home hopefully this time we can get a good result in the Premier League our last game in the Premier League ended in a draw against Derby County we can't let that happen again and we need a good result here against Stoke City but things don't start off really well Bouyan releases the ball into Charlie Adam who puts it into Ben Yedder what a signing that is from Stoke City to be honest really good signing there Ben Yedder's header hits the crossbar then but then here we're trying to get the lead in this game it's Will Hughes with the ball into Callum Wilson here. Callum Wilton with the ball again. He takes the shot. Roberto makes a good save from Callum Wilton again on the rebound, but he couldn't score. But we do get a corner from this, guys. I don't score too many goals from the corner, but we could score now. Ryan Gold puts the ball in. The ball falls to Sergi Gomez, who does score. That's his first goal for the club. A really good header there from Sergi Gomez to give us the lead against Stoke City. We all know how hard it is to play Stoke away from home, and we've got the goal that we needed. So it is now 1 0 to Bournemouth here. Now Stoke City are really attacking now to try and get that equalizer. It's Boyan with the ball. It's still Boyan. A great block there from Sergio Gomez, but the ball does fall to, I think, Benya there, who does score, making it 1-0 after 43 minutes. So, Stoke City are straight back into this game. Now, we got to work for the winner, or maybe to make it 2-1, but here's Itube now with the ball, just straight from kickoff. It's still Itube here. Look at him go, but he does get tackled, but still Itube does manage to get the ball off. His work rate is really good. It's still Itube. He decides to cut inside, plays the ball into Ryan Gold. Ryan Gold smashes the ball into the back of the net with his left foot. You guys voted him for the player of the season so far, and he's definitely proved it another great goal there from Ryan Gold after 45 minutes in this game just before half time it can't get any better but then late on in this game it was still 2-1 here Callum Wilson with the ball a chance for him to get a goal for himself but he decides to lay it off to Ryan Gold who does score another goal for himself making it 5 for the season it's ridiculous I mean Ryan Gold with 5 goals Callum Wilson with 5 as well it'll be I don't know countless assists I think he's got like 4 or 5 assists it's just ridiculous the team's performing really well right now and it can't get any better but anyways, guys, that's the end of this game against Stoke City. We have beaten them three goals to one. Another good result. Tele Alley wants an increase in his wages. I'm not surprised. He has been really good this season. Grimaldo is happy with his game time. So, yeah, the players are really happy, which is really good to see. Let's just offer here, obviously, Dele Alley a new contract. Where is he? There he is. He's on 25,000 euros per week. And I'm going to definitely give him the 45,000 euros per week he wants. An important first team play, 77 rated. I think when he came here, he was 72. So, the growth he's gone through is ridiculous. Also guys, this youngster James Hoskins has signed for us from the Youth Academy. Hopefully he will be good for us. I will be training him a lot throughout the next couple of weeks because I want his overall to be up so that he can come in for Ryan Fraser whenever he is in fully fit. Obviously, if you haven't seen it already, Gretel has got himself injured for four months, which is absolutely ridiculous. So there you go. I'm training James Hoskins. And as you can see, his crossing does increase. His long passing is pretty close to increasing. So he should be around 67, 68 after like three or four training sessions. But Dele Alli also signed his new contract which is amazing I want to keep Dele Alli at the club until the end of the series he's such a good player and him signing the contract means I think we will be able to do so but guys after eight games this is how our league table looks we have four wins out of eight and obviously four draws we haven't lost a single game which is freaking insane we have 16 points five points behind Crystal Palace I mean Crystal Palace league leaders they have just lost one game Leicester City in second place with 17 points so I think we can go top of the league in the next episode if our rivals do drop points but that's pretty much it for today's episode in the next episode we'll be covering five games one against West Brom the Champions League game against Barcelona, then a game against QPR then then Hull City in the cup obviously I'll be simming that game and then also a game against Liverpool but that's pretty much it for today's episode hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you guys have go ahead and drop a like on this video also follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the channel and also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and I will see you guys soon in another episode of this series